Uh, I'm thinking about sticking to F91, but I'm also weighing myself. Like, what other mechs for Uso or Uso for C book could you possibly have right now? Double Zeta. That's fair. I doubt there's any major upgrades to be had. Yeah, nah. that, that, that's a plus. Getting through this game really is a war of attrition sometimes, despite how much I do like the combat. It's just a structure that kind of blows ass. So which one are we on? Uh, four. Okay. Big. Oh. Uh, oh, there is a double data. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, look at the map, see what... See what level it is. If it's, a, if it's a longer map, then base. I think we're in the same area. No, it's not. This is no. this is the open area. I think is used for atmospheric reentry. Right. Uh, it's not too bad. All right. If we were going to Jabro, then yeah, definitely definitely going to switch to the. the okay, yeah, this area is fine. Seabook Arno launching in the F ninety one Gundam. This is Judo Ashita. Double Zeta. Big enough. <laughs> God, I really am used to Dynasty Wars Gundam 3 now, too, because of the fact that I don't remind myself, oh yeah, it's only off of Smash Attack you can dash cancel, right? <laughs> don't get carried away. And now you can be even... Well, I guess not faster, but dodge better. It definitely feels like, I think this does increase, like, your thruster speed, maybe. Or not speed, but, like, how long it, it holds out for. No, I get it, it increases your attack speed. If even. Oh, is it? oh, that's amusing. <laughs> I thought they would have pulled out the bazooka for that. That's just him using the VSBR. Yeah. Because he pulls out the VSBR in a cup uh, in one of his uh, smash attacks, the one where he does uh, the strafing shot. Oh yeah, his smash five. Yeah. I don't think we've seen the team moves though yet, have we? Uh, I did one last stage against Hero, but he blocked the whole thing. Oh right. Which was bullshit because he was blocking an attack from the double Zeta. Tch. Hey man, if you can believe any, you can block anything if you believe hard enough. <laughs> just, just ask Banana. Block a calling laser. Hey. Mm. Yeah, I know. That's that's roughly my reaction too. I feel like I was having you an aneurysm. Know. You know the movies are somehow gonna have to find a way to fucking outdo that in later uh, in later Hathaway combat. God, you're not you're not kidding either. Because it's movies, it's a paid experience, and it's the thing that everyone's been waiting twenty years for. Yup. So they're gonna have to go nuts eventually. What? What? They, how can they possibly top full frontal and and uh, and banana time traveling together? The fucking, the Shinanju Stein, Neo Neo Zeong from Narrative, the big ass gray Neo Zeong that was even fucking bigger. If you don't remember that, don't blame you. Narrative is a blur for me, too. They had a Neo Neo Zeong? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I remember something about, like, a giant cylinder being thre threatened to blow up or some shit. Yeah, I really gotta rewatch Narrative to just... Now I have now I've watched all of UC up until Unicorn, at least. Yeah, I I gotta remind myself how fucking stupid that gets. <sighs> You're now taking over the entire fucking field. The Neo Zeong Two. Zeong Two. It is even bigger. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just let it die, god damn it guys. Yes. Do you kids remember Star Wars? To be fair, I do actually like uh, Zoltan as a character. Yeah, he's he's kind of funny in a fucked up sort of way. Oh yeah, he's also gonna be in uh oh fuck, that's right. Narrative is one of the listed series to appear in Super Robot Wars 30th. Oh god, is it? Yeah fuck it, I'm just gonna pull up the roster. Maybe, maybe we can give the redhead kid something to actually do with this character. The relevant roster. God, sound effects are so weird. What the hell's our victory going to Okay, we've taken over literally the entire field. What the hell could be left? Get 
Rescue successfully. Okay. Have to go find her. Uh, that's... Mobile suit Gundam, Zeta Gundam, uh, oh, Z uh, Zeta variations, shards counterattack, Victory Gundam, and Gundam narrative. I am most excited for Victory Gundam because. According to Bailey, it hasn't appeared in a game in like 18 years. Yeah, but I, also, asked, I asked him in the Discord, I was like, huh, when's the last time Victory appeared in anything? Because I, it's never been in Robot Wars that you've shown me, so I was very curious about that. And Victory, for some reason or another, has been living rent-free inside my head for the past year and a half. Hmm. So, I'm, yeah, at least at least someone's going to do something. My immediate thought is that, is that because the stories are all stupid bullshit anyways, is that they're actually going to run with the fan and meme that Uso is Char's grandson. That would be marginally funny. Color me impressed. <sighs> ah, good, speaking of victory. <laughs> Leave this to me. Mobile suits, advance! <laughs> what is she in? She is in She's in a Bawu. Yeah, she is. <laughs> a mass produced Bawu, I believe. Yes. Because I think only the red one, the, the one that, that Glemmy rides, is actually a regular one. Uh, Glemmy's is orange, but yeah. It's a really nice shade of orange, actually. Yeah, I, I, do, I do really like his back. It's really nice. thought for a second she was in a Bioland, because I thought I saw her in one in another stage or another game or something, but hmm. I guess this makes a bit more sense. But I, I love whenever, how whatever you take out, uh, when, when you take out Kaji, you know, she just yells, This is not funny! I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, uh, that reminds me. It feels like such a missed opportunity to, for the first time in at least the last five games, not have Double Zeta in uh, Robot Wars, because they're having victory, and maybe they could have done a funny where uh, Uso meets a very young Greystoke. <laughs> they, did, they did something similar, actually, in Robot Wars X, which was the 2018 game. Where instead of it being all of the crossbone characters, it was just Tob uh, Tobias, and instead they had uh, Seabook and Cecily from the F91 period. So uh, Tobias knew who they were, but had to keep his mouth shut because he was from like eight years in the future from F91. <laughs> so he's like, okay, I can't talk to them very much. <laughs> I'll take it, that was a funny line. <laughs> oh yeah, the, they cut out Double Zeta for the first time in a while, and that's really annoying. The working theory seems to be that because it's an anniversary thing, they're actually uh, running on a... from uh, from uh, Gundam 79 to Char's counterattack, they're just running through Amaro and Char's life. And it's like, sure, I guess, but... No reason to cut the end of the series out, even if it's not directly related. Yeah. Because that just feels like a waste. And in order to fill out uh, the Zeta story, they're going to have to have Haman, and there will be no payoff for Haman if Judo's not there. Yeah, seriously, that's um, that's a bit of a move. Why should soldiers get all eh. the glory? They put Gus in, uh, in a Giro Doga instead of his Yacht Doga. Yeah. You gotta work for that promotion, kid. <laughs> You're actually fighting? Have your Just like you gotta work. Probably a whole lot of time actually saying that. Ah, fuck it. You gotta hold. You gotta work for for that fifteen year old idle pussy. Yep. This is Resin Schneider. It's his decisions, not mine. I guess she's probably actually 16, for all I know, I don't know. That movie was so fucking stupid. I hear Commander Shar is into younger woman. <sighs> that gets funnier the, lo the longer time passes. Especially with the stupid lines we heard in the Hathaway movie. Yeah. You'll become our goddess of victory by sleeping with me. Uh... That's a Tomino as if I ever seen one before. I know he probably he didn't write it, but no, he wrote be the damn, novel. Be damned if that isn't a uh, a nice homage to him. He wrote that original novel, at least. Once I'm done with you, I'm 
No, that's definitely him. That's not something that anyone else would uh, would write into adaptation. You're absolutely fucking right. There's no one else, especially with someone Lawrence. wrote that. Someone did write the script though, and they had to fucking include that. Because no one is stu no one with modern sensibilities is stupid enough to write that in where it didn't exist before. Yep. Christ. The more time passes, the more the man seems stuck in the same time period. That man has not progressed beyond the 80s. Nope. <laughs> That's not the reason, dude. The new type laboratory is a federation now. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's from Zeta. Oh, we have the... This is just mission four, though? There's a cutscene here, it's not the last stage. Oh. You know what's funny? Because the purple cuboid does actually look like something that would have come out of the uh, Zod Scare Empire. Yeah! You're right, actually. It does look like, it does look it, like the... Uh, it do That's another thing I love about later UC is energy shields instead of physical shields. Yeah. Way more compact, way easier to travel with, way less weight. Um, yeah, the, uh, the purple cubelet, he does actually sort of look like the Xanak, uh, the mobile suit with the bells that's, yeah. that stands on, uh, the floating platform. Wait, isn't this the Queen Mantha? This is the Queen Mantha, and regular Pooter's in there. I, is the Queen Mantha supposed to be the weird thing that Darth Vader was driving inside of the, 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 the Rufflesia? The... They're both mobile armors, if that's how you want to qualify it. That, ha that like, attack remotely? I think in our, in our green. I think it had funnels. I think the Rafflesia had funnels. Yeah. Uh, no, like, yeah, yeah yes, it did. It had pedals. There's like there's literally no pedals. way that it could attack by itself. It had pedal bits. Yeah. No, Pooter is here just because she wants her specific Jubilee back. <laughs> she does. Uh, she doesn't care about the Queen Moth. The Queen Moth just happened to be there. Understandable. Have a good day, sir. And hey, for what it's worth, for as little as you end up seeing it, at least Cecily is actually a combatant here. That is very true. This is real war. You better get serious. Okay, I'll say it. It's also a better treatment of women than what you usually get out of Tomino's works also anyway. I mean, to be fair, she was also still a combatant in F-91, the movie. Yes. She had the Vig- she had the Vigna Gina. Can you run that word by me again? Vigna Gina. Two separate words. V I G H N A G I N A. Okay, okay. That is straight up just the word vagina. You win. Probably. Watch your vagina. I am Sexto Blowaka. Do you know what a cloaca is? Yes, it's a snake <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I have read enough notions <laughs> to know what one is at least, trust me. Okay. There you go. <laughs> We're having fun, who gives a shit? Yeah. I mean, for as unrestrained as we were in Char, and how could you not be? Yes. That we, is worth talking about, though. There's nothing holding us back anymore. We're not following a super strict story. Nope. And I'm about to get the worst of it anyway, so go ham as much as you want. You'll <laughs> see in five or ten minutes. Oh boy. And I'm gonna make the mistake of not using the powerhouse. But no, I, w I was more getting to the point that, uh, on honestly, Cecily does get treated treat a lot better as a female character in a Gundam series than, honestly, probably a lot of instances had at that point in time. Because in spite of how good Rue was, she, we did still have that shit arc with her in the desert and nearly being, uh, seduced slash potentially date raped by some dude that June might, might have been all uh, Char. June Cock. June Cock, which... K-O-C-K. Yeah. It still counts, even if it's an anagram. Which is also a shit situation for her, because, like, huh, a man who's trying to date rape me, or a man who's actively stalking me? Hard to tell which one's worse. At least one of them wants to protect me. That's a fair point. For all of his faults... One won't Im and result in immediate bodily harm. Hope. For all of his faults, Glemmy was actually very kind to Lena. Yeah, definitely. Even though he grooming subtext aside, he was definitely uh, a lot more accommodating for her than most prisoners of war for Neo Zeon usually end up. 
Yeah, it's... Hey. Poor dude in Thunderbolt got fucked up by Xeon. <laughs> uh, fuck. Don't get carried away. You won't be any good okay, no, I just, I just don't remember his name. Neither do I. It's not important. Yeah. I know uh, the asshole was named uh, Fleming. Eo. Yeah, that was his. Uh, that was his last name. Yeah, Eo Fleming. Wait, that can't be right. What is that? <laughs> There's one over here as well. A Zeta Gundam. I was trying to do the aerial, but all right. Still works. I don't think we've done it. I've done this stage before, actually. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Dark. Wait. So, second C book takes on the Dark Gundam. Yes. Okay. That's why I said I'm getting the worst of it and making a stupid decision by not using the powerhouse Gundam. Ah, mm. I think he can still do pretty damn well though. With the with the F91, it's it's just about. That said, though, I have not fought <laughs> Wait the dark. What is? Is that the? Okay, no, that's the Mark II. Never mind. I thought for a second that uh, uh, that that was the GPO one that Kyoji was in. <laughs> Because the Mark II shield actually does is probably the same no, that, shield that as the GPO one. That wouldn't work out though because of the fact that um, Ko, Ko is not in this game. Ko is in this game. He's just not here. So is Gato. Gato's in this game? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't. I didn't think. I don't know. I'm Ko pretty sure. Is it credit for Gato as early as the first game? Right. Oh yeah, you're right. I just don't remember Uso being. Or Uso. I don't remember Ko being in this game though. Shit. I felt like that was the primary reason why he was such a prominent figure in in uh, Gundam Three. As fun as we're gonna have with that. Oh God, don't. Hey man, it's okay. We have two Brad Swales as the main characters for the hero side in that one. Don't worry. I know, but having it to... balances out. I know, but sorting through four completely unrelated chapters, though. Yep. And a million characters. Jesus Christ. The good thing is there's a lot of overlap, so it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, and honestly, considering that the how you can... Once you complete each mission, you're free to use whatever fucking mech you want. Honestly, that's pretty good. Also, hello, Beam can actually doing something. Woo. Why should you want to... You, you want to let me go, please? <laughs> I appreciate the constant invincibility frames, but goddamn, game. See me like that. I think this actually is making it faster. It very well could be. I mean, no, that's the whole design philosophy of F91 to begin with. I mean, for as little as it's worth, the F91 is also a fast ground runner, too. Yeah. Strategic withdrawal, it's okay. <laughs> Joe Star Family Secret Technique? Y yep. That was passed down to to, to Jotaro. Never forget that. As right as his character was in in, in Star Wars Crusaders, he did saw some fun moments. <laughs> Kyoji inside the burning gun does actually make sense though. Kyoji appears in three and reborn, but they but they stick him in the burning Gundam. Did we actually have any missions available that do involve the Musha Gundam in this game though? Uh, no, because it's not its own character yet. Oh, okay. Well, I don't... Mm. If they don't become their own their own sentient characters until... Not being a sentient character, but something that someone uses. Like, I, I'm pretty sure oh, that... Oh, yes, yes. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see it in a limited capacity uh, later. Yeah. Like, obviously, we get Gingdom Ging, Ging inside of the Bushigunum a lot at some point in time. Which, to be fair, Bane Man's gonna get a fucking awesome mech? Gotta be that man. Dio, fucking Dio Brenna voice actor and subs and Ducky and... Hito Koyasu. Yeah, Scott McNeil in, in dubs. I'm imagining a Scott McNeil Dio, and you know what? It works. It does, doesn't it? It makes me sad to think that one of the only reasons I'm picturing a way where they would try to uh, square peg round hole uh, Brad Swale into Joe Bro. <laughs> That'd be fascinating. 
I had this funny idea in my head though earlier when we were listening we listen to uh, some questionable dub clips from, from this version of uh, uh, Dolman. And I was just thinking to myself, could we make Brad Swale into another Gundam protagonist and would he work as Dolman? He plays three different Gundam characters in Steed. He does, doesn't he? And he's also a Gundam... He plays, one, a, he plays he, one of the drug boys and also plays Deerka, right? He's in uh, Wing, too. He plays Catri, the blonde kid. Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck you, that's mine! <laughs> Kyoji's just really missing with, messing with his CAC uh, setting this, uh, today. <laughs> I got hit? That's weird. You know, I I'm actually kind of amazed that for, how, for being the first uh, spin-off games or licensed games, rather, that we didn't end up getting Dynasty Warriors, Gundam Empires, and Extreme Legend. Yeah, no kidding, shit. And again, I don't think they would really be able to recognize, uh, reconcile uh, the armor systems the same way. Hmm. Hides up being what it is, I'm surprised that uh, Namco backed out of having Tech McCoy do, uh, do Gundam games the way they did, though. It's not that they... I think they, they thought that the idea sort of ran its course, because... It's possible. I don't think 3 sold that terribly well. My guess is that it's actually... is that it was Reborn that didn't do that well, actually, because... It's, uh, titled as, uh, Shin Gundam Musa, which means true, or new, or neo. Which means they were trying to have it be a like revival, a, yeah. or a reboot, and it probably didn't do very well. I mean, even, like, the name Reborn in dubs does kind of, like, insinuate that sort of vibe, doesn't it? Which, I mean, what are you expecting to happen when you release a game for the PS3 and Vita in 2014? 2014. 2015. 50, fuck me! In America, anyway. It was 2014 in Japan, but... Yeah. Especially in America, PS3 and Vita game in 2015. Yeah, when, 20, when PS4 is already out and Bloodborne already exists. Yeah. <sighs> There's a very real chance at this stage. It's not impossible, but you're just, you're putting up a pretty good fight. Oh, oh god, of course, Master H just teamed up with the Dark Gundam, right? Yeah. He was the one trying to revive it, wasn't he, or some shit? He was the one that was trying to control it. It was previously an unknown element to him. Huh. Even then, if you are st if you do start running low on health, just disengage, look for health items. <laughs> You'll usually find one in what in some base somewhere. Talk about as it is, uh, we ra we rail we railed on Pyro Warriors Four for having really starving you for healing items. This game I don't feel like is too terrible in that regard, but you really gotta explore. And again, no reason why I feel like the, the Zeta models are very necessary for playing the game. Son of a bitch. Eh, when you disengage, you're still gonna be in, p in power mode anyway, so you're, you'll be okay. Also remember, your Smash 2 goes to guard. Oh. Wait, you didn't know that? Actually, no. Yeah, also his Smash 4 specifically goes to guard. Which is weird, because usually Smash 4s are supposed to be like launcher moves, but no, just straight up, his is a unblockable as well. The only issue seems to be dealing damage out. Now, if you Why is it taking forever to show up? It's supposed to have shown up by now. I'm also taking damage at a surprisingly reduced rate as well. Yeah. I did start from a comp. What the hell? You didn't. I think you. I think you just let off with it. Which even then, like, even if your Musa is being blocked, I would just usually redirect it at our enemies anyway. Just reduce the field. I think you have to take over the field in order for it to show up, actually. Damn. Damn. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. I can't get over the fact that his hands have Gundam hand, hand, head hands. It's just... It's so ridiculous. Hey, healing I'm over there. What oh, it was the speed. Yeah, that's great. So this is the fuck part. It's uh this the Dark Gundam is healing the Master Gundam, 
and you have to destroy all of these while they're shooting at you before you can actually do anything to them. Yeah. If memory serves, I think, uh... This is already energy from L, L Gundam. Oh boy. I'm not dying on some adult say so. I have fought countless battles, but this one may be the grandest of them all. I'm not so sure about that one. Well, with the lower damage you were taking in general right now, plus the fact that you're constantly regenerating Musa right now, that's not too terrible. But yeah, it looks like taking care of. Uh, Master Agent would be the best, the most optimal way to go about this you right now. You can't. While, while the, uh, while it's out there, he's healing. Oh, goody. Things aren't going well. I wonder if we can do anything about it. There is... Oh, Target selection! One. Healing it? I think you took care of one, though. I did. Also, I can't leave here. Nope. Hammer circle. Yay, frame one activations. Also healing item over there. What should I do? I need to feel this battle. Feeling something. Hmm. More of that good shit at least. Alright. And I lined these up. That felt like nothing. Oh, what? There's an item over there. Where at? Uh, to your left. Right Got there it, it is. I think it's a that's that's deep. That'll still help. Yeah. My kill. Uh. Oh, there yep. we go. But that's not the end of the stage, actually. Cause of we course still, it's not. Because we have to actually still fight Master Asia. It appears this is to be the day I settle my score with you once oh, and for all. However. Impossible. Okay, now I can deal with this bullshit. Go fuck yourself. Cecily, we're gonna end this here. Take care of the rest of them for me. I'll rejoin you once we've stopped this guy. Well, that's over and done with. Roger, I'm not sure who decided to program this godforsaken boss fight, but all right. Fuck them. Mind you, this would have been a hell of a lot easier if I made uh, the correct choice from the start. I'm not even so sure about that. Like, structurally, this is still kind of fucked. Yeah, but there's still a lot more power going into the double Zeta, and you can also do a lot more long damage. Presumably, but... Because his level 3 is still the high mega cannon, you can do that from anywhere. Yeah.